Little video on how to change the font size or style in your email template. So I noticed Outlook, which is what this tutorial is for, uh, seems to default to quite a small font, um, usually like 10 or 11, something like that. Now, when I'm typing an email, I can find that a bit difficult to read without like leaning in really close like this. And when I receive an email in that sort of font size, I can find it quite difficult. Obviously, I'm a glasses wearer and I must need to go to Specsavers because I shouldn't find it so tricky. Um, but one, I want to be able to type easily. And two, I want the recipients of my email to be able to read it easily. So I have changed the font. Oh, well, I'll show you how to change the font size in case you want to do the same. You open up Outlook. Oh, let me just show you an example, actually. So new email. Um, so dear, I'll go into the body text. You see how much smaller that is? than my uh, signature, which I've made a bit bigger. So just delete that. And you go to File, which is in the top left-hand corner, and then down to the bottom left, where it says Options. And then you've got Mail in the menu, and use Stationery to change default fonts and styles, colors, and backgrounds. Then you just click there, and it's got some examples here. So the font size I like is 12. Um, so it's not enormous at all, but it just makes a really big difference for me and hopefully for the people receiving my email. Um, so go to fonts and then you can choose your font style. I like them nice and clean. You could brand them to whatever your font is on your website or something, but you don't really want the recipients to be um, distracted by font colours and font styles, you want them to read your message. So I prefer them nice and simple. So either, like, don't laugh at my pronunciation, please. So either Atos, um, Arial, so they're change, showing you here. And well, I'm not even going to try and say this one. I am actually Calibri, Calibri, something like that. Also, with the font that you choose, some of them are smaller than others, so you may want to play about the font size. So I'm going to go with my favourite, which is this one. And I want it to be a font size 12. Um, you see how much it's increased there. I'm not fussed about anything fancy, bold or colours or anything like that. I want it nice and clean and simple. So I press OK there, and I've changed it now for my new mail messages. Then you go and change it the same way for your um, replies and forwards and that kind of thing. So 12, it's okay. In this menu, you can also go and do your email signature if you wish. So I've already done mine and, um, and I've used a bit of colour there to make it stand out uh, and made it 12 as well. And that will do it for all your email accounts. That's what I've found anyway. I've only had to do it for one and it's, it's done it for the other emails as well. So let's now do an email. And you should see the difference, hopefully. Yeah, and that's more consistent and a little bit bigger. Hope this helps.